Welcome back to episode 7 of NHL Deal or No Deal. It's crazy that we've already done 7 episodes, but these are always super fun to do, and it's fun to get you guys involved in the videos. This one was kind of short notice. I just posted it on my community tab like 3 hours ago, so I didn't give you guys too, too much time, but by the time I did go through and start choosing, there was about 85 comments, or like 80 or something like that, so there was still a good amount, so I think I got some pretty good ones. So now let's jump right into it with the first mock trade. This first trade comes from that typical Leafs fan, 81, who says Taylor Hall and Sammy Vatten in two the New York Islanders for Noah Dobson, Josh Bailey, and a first round pick. Now, I think if the rumors of Taylor Hall wanting out of New Jersey were true, then this would be an interesting trade, uh, but I don't really think those rumors are true, and now New Jersey had a really good offseason, and in my opinion, did a pretty good job of putting a good team around Taylor Hall. I think the rumors aren't true. I think he's going to want to stay, and I really don't think the New Jersey Devils would consider trading him at all. I mean, he was an MVP just two seasons ago, so for that reason, I'm going to say no deal, but you know, if the rumors were true, they'd be getting back a blue trip prospect and Noah Dobson, a top six NHL player in Josh Bailey, and also a first round pick. So I think it would be enticing. Definitely would be an interesting deal, but just strictly because I don't think New Jersey would trade Taylor Hall now, I'm going to have to say no deal. Next trade comes from Connor Wallace, who says two New Jersey, Gusev and Nosek, and two Vegas, a first round pick, and Jesper Brad. Um, this is an interesting one because there is a lot of trade rumors around Nikita Gusev because him and Vegas can't really come to terms on a contract, and Vegas doesn't really have too, too much cap space to work with, so I think he will ultimately end up being traded but I don't know if a team would give a first round pick for him strictly because we don't know how he's going to play in the NHL he's never played you know in North America he's always been in the KHL and we know he's a good player over there but is that going to translate to the NHL so giving up a first round pick and a really solid young player in Jesper Bratt in my opinion would be a little bit too much for a guy that you don't really know what you're going to get but you never know Vegas could have a pretty high asking price because they do probably want a good amount back because he was a big name player over in the KHL put up a lot of points and will most likely be a good NHL player but NHL teams and GMs really just don't know so this is an interesting trade but I think it is giving up a little bit too much for Nikita Gusev and Thomas Nosek so for that reason I'm gonna have to say no deal. Next trade comes from Mike Gibbs who says Franz Nielsen with 50% salary retained for Kyle Turris. Now this is a weird one because Franz Nielsen has had some good seasons but I definitely think he would be a downgrade from Kyle Turris and he comes at a hefty cap hit with a little bit of term left but there is 50% salary retained so I think that would definitely make it a little bit more enticing for Nashville and there's a lot of rumors around Kyle Turris and I think in the end he probably will be traded this offseason but I'm not quite sure if this is really a smart move for either team I think if Detroit wants to get rid of Franz Nielsen they're probably just going to want to get like maybe like a high and late round draft pick because they're kind of just want a salary dump him probably at this point because of his age and contract and I don't really know where he would fit in with the Nashville Predators would probably just take over the place that Kyle Turris was currently playing in so I just don't really think it would make too too much sense for either team but I like the idea of it and you know maybe something could be worked out similar to this but I think I'm gonna have to say no deal for this one. Next mock trade comes from Chungus Productions who says Artem Anisimov and Victor Edsel and Chicago receives Sonny Milano in a fifth round pick. Now I'm assuming you have Sonny Milano in here uh, going off the fact that he was involved in something like a brawl and was detained or arrested or something like that and now everyone probably thinks Columbus wants to trade him but I'm not sure Chicago you know would want to bring him in. He's still a young-ish player who could have some upside but Artem Anisimov even though he is a little bit older he still is a really good player and has had a good couple of you know previous seasons for the Chicago Blackhawks and giving up Victor Edsel as well I'm just not you know quite sure why Chicago would want to do that besides you know the fact that they would be getting a little bit younger and a player who could potentially do something in the future for your team uh, but again I don't really think this makes sense really for either team so for that reason I'm gonna have to say no deal to this one as well. The next mock trade comes from Dineth Altman. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Sabres acquired Jason Zucker, Jared Spurzen, and a 2021 third round pick. And the Minnesota Wild get a little bit younger with Alex Nylander and Rasmus Rista lining coming the other way. Now this is a trade that is definitely interesting. I think Buffalo is trying to acquire players to help them win now. I think they finally want to make that jump into the playoffs after being pretty bad for a long time. And I think the Minnesota Wild are kind of trying to go the other direction and get younger. And you know, kind of just let the youth take over there. They're probably heading in a rebuilding direction they haven't really been able to make any deep playoff runs they've just been kind of like a mediocre team they'd squeak into the playoffs sometimes and then they just wouldn't get anything done when they're there so I think a rebuild is definitely in the headlights for them and getting a guy like Alex Nylander who it seems like he's just not going to work out for Buffalo would be a smart move because he was I think a top 10 pick he has a lot of upside and definitely could become something for the Minnesota Wild it takes that a lot you know a fresh start for a young player on a new team that takes them you know that to break out that happens a lot and then the Sabres 
Sixers would acquire a good top six forward in Jason Zucker and a pretty solid defenseman to take over Rasmus Ristolainen's part and a guy who is better defensively than Ristolainen obviously was. He had a terrible plus minus this past season and they'd be getting a third round pick. So I actually like this trade a lot. So this is the first one of the video. I'm going to say deal to this one. Next up, we have a trade from Mr. Donkey who says Edmonton receives Adrian Kempe and Los Angeles receives Jesse Pugliarvi second round pick and a fifth round pick. So it's obviously out there that Jesse Pugliarvi is probably going to be traded this summer because he obviously demanded the trade from Edmonton or threatened to go back and play in Europe. So Edmonton kind of has to make something happen there and that doesn't really give them any leverage in a trade because other teams know that they have to trade him. So they're probably not going to offer as much as maybe they would if they were just trying to acquire him regularly. Uh, but Adrian Kempe is a good player. I think he would fit really well with Edmonton as a winger who could potentially play with McDavid or Dreisaitl. He's a talented winger who has the potential to have a breakout season. And like I say all the time, a fresh start for a young player on a new team like Jesse Pugliarvi going to LA could be what he needs to really kickstart his career and they'd be getting a second and a fifth round pick so this is another trade that I actually really like a lot and another one that I'm gonna actually say deal to next up we have a trade from Louis Manders 97 who says Panthers acquire Jason Zucker and the Minnesota Wild acquire Vincent Trocek I'm actually gonna say no deal to this one right away I think Vincent Trocek is a lot better of a player than uh, Jason Zucker is and he's most likely going to be the consistent number two center uh, for the Florida Panthers over the next couple years behind Barkov and I think that's a really good one-two center punch he was injured a lot last season talking about Trocek so that is why I don't really think too many people look at him as a really solid NHLer but I believe he had a 70 point season or 60 point or something like that the year prior to his injury so I think he's a big part of Florida I don't really think they want to trade him and they do have a lot of really talented wingers as well uh, and especially with young guys like Owen Tippett and stuff trying to come into the lineup so I don't really think they'd want to acquire Jason Zucker so I'm going to say no deal to this trade this next one is another Nikita Gusev trade, and this one from Nigerian Princey. Hopefully, I'm saying that correctly. Nikita Gusev for Ole Ulevi and a second round pick. And this is another one where I'm kind of just, you know, not sure because I don't really know what the market for Nikita Gusev is. Uh, but Vancouver definitely could use another talented winger like him uh, to come in and have a chance to, you know, break onto the scene in the NHL there. And Ole Ulevi, it's kind of like running out of time. I just don't really know if he's going to be a part of their future on the blue line. Obviously, they do need a lot of help on the blue line but I'm not sure if he's a guy you know that can cut in and do that he's had a couple of mediocre seasons in the American Hockey League still hasn't been able to crack the NHL lineup and you'd be giving away a second round pick and that's kind of why I'm questionable about this maybe if that was like a fourth or fifth round pick a later pick uh, then maybe this would be a trade that could go through but right now I'm just probably going to say no deal strictly because I just have no idea what the market for Nikita Gusev is this next trade is actually one that I find very interesting. It's just straight up one for one Ryan Nugent Hopkins from Max Domi and he says Canadians get a top six center as needed and the Oilers get a top six winger that can play with McDavid as needed. So this is a very you know well thought out trade. I'm going to say deal to this one as well. I think Nugent Hopkins would fit really well in Montreal and give him kind of a better opportunity to succeed because playing behind Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl he's never really going to get that opportunity to be a top six centerman unless Leon Dreisaitl moves to the wing to play with Connor McDavid which is something that we could see next season and something we have seen a little bit in previous years. Uh, but Max Domi, I think, would be capable of, you know, being a point-per-game guy, especially playing with a guy like Connor McDavid. And like I said earlier, I just think Nuge would be a really good fit for the Montreal Canadiens and really give him a chance to show himself off as a number one or two center. So I like this trade a lot, and I'm actually going to say deal. And now for the last trade of the video, Five Hole Hockey says, Penn's trade Patrick Hornquist to the Flames for James Neal. Now, in my opinion, James Neal's contract is shaping up to be one of the worst in the entire NHL so I'm not sure if Pittsburgh would want to bring that on while Patrick Hornquist is on a pretty hefty contract for what he brings to the table I still think he's a better player at this point in time than James Neal has showed he was last season James Neal used to be on the Penguins and it seems like Pittsburgh is just trying to have a culture reset and just kind of have a new look roster so I'm not quite sure if they'd want to bring somebody back who was already there obviously he was really good in Pittsburgh but like I said last year he was just awful for the Calgary Flames and is on a really bad contract so while Patrick Hornquist doesn't have of the greatest contract i still think he's a valuable piece to pittsburgh so i think i'm gonna have to say no deal to this one so that is going to wrap up today's nhl deal or no deal i really hope you guys did enjoy i believe the last one i did of these was like a week and a half ago so that is usually how long i'm gonna wait in between episodes like i said you know in previous ones of these i don't just want to make it overkill and obviously sometimes people will run out of mock trades because sometimes there's like the same guys that are in trade rumors and the guys that are in all the rumors surrounding the nhl are usually the ones that you guys put in this video which is good to make it realistic 
uh, but obviously it is hard to make a bunch at once sometimes so I'm gonna try to probably upload another one in like two weeks so make sure to look out on the community tab for any time I post like I said in all these as well I'm sorry if your guys comment wasn't featured in this video there's gonna be many different ones like this there's gonna be more agree or disagrees more deal or no deals so there's gonna be a lot of time to get your comment featured in the videos and with that being said I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video if you did please make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel for daily NHL content and I will see you guys all in the next video.